What's happening, people? Ah, honestly, I, I did. This is not a joke. I, okay, yeah, I, I actually not a joke. Every time I move and wet. sit, I actually you swear I haven't done that. You slept badly. I sleep badly every night because you're next to me, but that's a different story. <laughs> Hello everyone! Hello everyone! Welcome Hello, back to my show. This Welcome is... back to my show. It's well, Sophie Sillia. It's not Sophie Sillia. It's Jamie's jumping jacks time. <laughs> oh, can I come do some jumping jacks? Okay, uh, here we I'm are. I'm too excited about what we're working on today. Sophie's really excited now. Sophie's really good at accents and different things. Plus, we miss all of our friends and family and loved ones. And, all, and everyone else is missing all of their family. We're slightly bored. Uh, and we're a little bit bored, so we're going to call some of our friends and, and have fun doing that. However, we decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of phoning our friends, uh, and talking to them on the phone and discussing different things, we decided that we would phone them and prank call them. Uh, so they don't know it's us that's calling them and I'm try really and prank call them. They all answer. Yeah, so we're hoping that they're going to answer. We're hoping that they are going to uh, fall, for fall for it. If they don't fall for it, so what? We gave it a go. If they do fall for it, uh, hilarious. Now, the okay, first person we've decided to phone is Harvey Armstrong. Sophie's ex boyfriend, Harvey Armstrong. We uh, tried Miles, but he didn't pick it up, so we went for the second person who we thought would. Maybe be vulnerable to this. <laughs> she's gonna. So we decided that she's gonna phone up uh, her ex-boyfriend Harvey Armstrong. Uh, she's gonna pretend to be someone from Ireland that uh, works for a production company called This Is All False Productions. This Is All False Productions. She's also going to be saying that they're on a new TV show together. Uh, that they're producing the new TV show is about uh, a new Apprentice TV show, and it's all about him having to sell weird and wonderful products. And the weird and wonderful products range from dildos to vending machines with girls' knickers in it. <laughs> and does he think he can sell it? And if he does think he can do it, then he has to sell us one of the products via the phone call. And we're going to ask him to sell a Sedildo over the phone. Okay. <laughs> right, ready? Because I'm like teeing myself up. Here we go. All right. Okay. I'm too cringe for this. Hello? Hello, is this Harvey Armstrong? Yes, thank you. Hi, great. I'm so happy I've got hold of you. Right, this is Claire Bryan. And firstly, I'm so sorry to call you on a Sunday. I've been trying to get hold of your agent, Emma, for the last two weeks. Um, I've not heard anything back from her. Now, this is, um, I'm calling from This Is Fuzzfish Productions. Now, we've got a TV show that we'd be really interested in. Obviously, it's coronavirus and there's this massive scare. So, unfortunately, we can't have a meeting and I just wanted to get hold of you because it's quite urgent. We've had a couple people fall through because of the process and we've, we've seen you on Made in Child, so we think you're fantastic. And, and essentially, we're, we're, we're launching a new pro program. Now, the program is going to launch in May, hopefully, but we might have to push it back. But essentially, I just wanted to run through a couple things with you. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Um, um, just to see if you'd be interested for, about it. Now, yeah. is it right that you, 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 you're an entrepreneur and you're setting up a new business, is that right? That's correct, yeah. A beer company? Yeah. Great, great, great. Okay, so, essentially the program is it's going to be a bit like an apprentice sort of thing. Now, we, we, we wanted to get some young celebrities involved because we think it's a great opportunity to show young people that you can be an entrepreneur. Now, obviously we've got to entertain people, we want to get the viewings, and we're pitching it to all the channels. We're pitching it to BBC, ITV, E4, Channel 4. Um, so obviously it's something we definitely have to speak to your agent about, but I, I can't get hold of her, so I thought I'd give you a call. Now, now, I mean, essentially what we'd do is it's a training camp, and we'd want you to, um, we want you to sell different things to us. We'd want you to teach you how to become a salesman. And so essentially, at the end of the, the, the game, you either get voted in or you get voted out on your selling ability. Now, at the end of the game, we'd hope you'd be able to sell us your beer company and there'd be an opportunity for investors to invest in it. But firstly, obviously, we want you to sell different things. Things like that are hard to sell. For example, like selling a dildo. I know it sounds funny and you're probably gonna laugh at it. But, but you know, it's a great opportunity because it's something that's hard to sell. So a dildo or maybe a vending machine that sells you yeah. knickers. You know, something like that. Something that's funny, that's going to get their viewings in. You know, all these different things. And also, it's super hard to sell. So, um, I mean, is this something that you'd be interested in? Yeah, no, definitely. Great, great. Just, just to uh, clarify what... 
as much time as possible. Well, look, this is what we... Uh, we obviously wanted to stop filming in May and it's all been pushed out. But we've had a lot of celebrities pulled, th pulled back, obviously, because it's such a tricky time at the moment. We're still wanting to go ahead with it. But the problem is, obviously, we're going to have to push it back. And obviously, I know that filming probably for you, E4, because I know a lot of the producers in the, in the field, I know that you're still halfway through a series. So we potentially want you to do something like an audition now, maybe, or just try and sell something to us. Would you be interested in, in, in I know it sounds ridiculous, and maybe you'd want to meet, do it over Skype with your agent, but sell us, sell us a product, sell us a dildo. You know, yeah, we just yeah, want to yeah. see this sort of... Yeah, right now! I would say, yeah, but you just put me up that time that she just put out there or not even tell me all in a bit of a... Um, I guess, no, I know what I switched on with her. No, no, I totally get that. I'm not sorry, it's a Sunday, so apologies for that. But what, what what would you feel? Do you have any selling ability? Because we just want to make sure that moving forward, you know, it's a quick operation. We want to get the right celebrities involved. We want to get the right people involved. And we thought that you'd be great because obviously you've got a company that you've not even launched yet. So it'd be yeah. great for you. So potentially, like maybe even sell. What 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 would you like to sell? A pen? You can sell us a pen. No, 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 you could sell us a dildo. Sell me like a pen right now. Or if you prefer to sell me a dildo, that's totally fine. Um, Yeah, for sure. We can, we can, we can, we can email it to you. We can yeah. email it to you. But is this something you'd be interested in? You'd be interested in selling a dildo and perhaps some, a vending machine with girls' sneakers on TV? Uh, in the right context, yeah, for sure. Like it's it's for the sales for the sales of girls and the um, you know the practice and what they're about selling. Yeah. Like, I don't, I get the humour behind it. Great, um, great. Harvey, it's been a fantastic to speak to you. Oh my God. I always feel mean doing it. I always feel mean. I always feel mean. mean. We, so we do feel a little bit mean doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to phone him back. And, and tell him it's a prank. And tell him that it's I a prank. I think he'll laugh. We're going to choose people who will find this funny. We're not doing it. I know that Miles and him would loll at this. We got you! That's <laughs> You're on our video! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, but that was golden! Oh, that is too funny that as you picked up, you went, you went, oh no. You do? We got you! We got you! Hey, hey, Hub, first of all, is it okay if we use that? We don't have to if you don't want to. Please! Oh, you couldn't really speak, you're like, oh, just got out of bed. But, yeah, but you're gonna sell deal toilets and girls' knickers. <laughs> right, don't tell, but we're gonna do one to Miles as well. Whose voice is that? Sophie and Jamie. That, that was your Irish accent. Yeah, it's my Irish <laughs> accent. You know I'm sick of acting. Yeah, it was. I'm fucking good at acting. Fair play. That was too good. Okay, so he's on her prank call. So it's now time to do my prank call. And obviously we're in isolation together, we're spending loads of time with each other. So what we decided to do is I'm gonna phone Sophie's sister and pretend to her that I am gonna ask Sophie to marry me. He, she'll actually believe it as well. Why would you believe it? Because you basically do. Hey, George. Hello? Hey, George, Jamie. Hey, how are you? Good, honey, how are you? Good, thanks. Oh, you're one walk of the day. Well done. Mhm. Mm um. Hey, listen. I got. I, I got a uh, thing to ask you. Yeah. Um. And I. Do, I just wanted to know what your reaction is before I do anything. Yeah. You seem yeah. nervous. You seem nervous. Yeah, I do. Nervous. Why? 
Well, I... Okay, I think I'm gonna ask Soph to marry me. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I really am. No, you're not. I really am. I 100% do not believe you. Why wouldn't you believe me? Um, because you'd be insane for a start. Why would I be insane? No, I honestly have been living with her now. She's on her walk at the moment. Been living with her for, what is I, it? I know that she's there and you're 100% joking. I don't believe you. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Why would he want to? I love how you say you'd be insane to marry Sophie. Great! Uh, <laughs> oh, my ears, Joe. It's really nice. Great second. I was like, no, no. And I was like, no. Oh no! Okay, so uh, we just phoned obviously Sophie's sister, and that didn't quite work. So what we decided to do now, differently, is we're going to phone Sophie's dad. And um, so he's gonna say. Oh, I will me. So he's gonna say. I don't think I can be in for this one. I'm gonna basically say that an intimate video of Jamie and I has been leaked onto the internet. And what do I do? I'm not. I have to sit behind here when this happens. No, I'm just gonna say. I'm not gonna last long though because he'll get very upset and then I'm gonna have to tell him it was a joke. Oh god, I don't think I can do this. Okay, go, quick. Okay, ready? Oh, no. Are you sure this isn't too mean? No, this is. Funny. I don't want my dad to get really upset. Well, well, you know him more than me. He'll get very upset, but when I tell him it's a joke, he won't. But. He'll be, that will make his heart sing. Oh god. Right, I'm gonna do it. Oh god. Oh god. No, I, may, I might say you've asked me to marry him, eh? I don't think I can do the link. Okay, you say, say you asked to marry me, yeah, say that. Say no, because then he might be like, that's ridiculous. He'll be yeah, like, that's maybe he might, that's quite funny. Oh my god. I don't know why I feel so nervous about this. Hey, Hi, Dad. How are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm alright. I didn't see it. Are you feeling okay? Oh, I've just got this fucking head cold. It's fucking, you know, like when I get in my head, it's just like. Worse. Are the sinuses? Um, sinuses. Dad, I've got something to tell you. Um, basically, I've, um, Jamie's asked me to marry him. Yeah, I mean it's very soon. It is very soon, but you do you two do seem to get on like a house on fire. What do you think? Um, I feel like I'm way too young. What do you think? Uh I think you are young. Um but you'll be twenty six in October. So um <clears throat> No, it's not. It's absolutely not my decision. I just, you you I, don't think I? You don't want me to get married yet, do you? I'm not saying that, so because that's not my decision. It's your decision. So don't try and use me. But I've only been with him for a year. Yeah, I would say. I would say you need to. It's probably good to wait at least two years. <gasps> Dad and Jakey! Oh God's sake! Ridiculous. <laughs> We're filming our video and we prank calling people. <laughs> I was going to say an intimate video has been linked on the internet, but I thought, I honestly said no, no, he will have a panic attack. Patrick, back. honestly, this was not my idea. I had to move away from it. I had you to... handled that quite well. I'm surprised you were not like, absolutely not. <laughs> no, no, it's not my, it's not my decision. You're still taken back. You're still freaking out. Patrick, honestly, that was not my idea. Can I please let you know I had to move out of the room while that happened? I can I not even say it. Well, I didn't decimate you, Jamie. I know! I really like the reaction. I feel great, <laughs> feel great after that. <laughs> I'm shocked. I thought you'd be like, Sophie, absolutely not. You've lost your Why mind. did you also say you pitch it like I died? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad, I love you. Okay, I can't handle any more of this right now. This is too much for a Sunday, Ooh. everyone. Those are prank calls that we just did to our friends and family and ex-boyfriends and things like that. Um, hey, listen, have the best Sunday ever. We love you guys. Be safe, be positive, be all those different things. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, obviously. Bye. I'm not going to ask you to marry her, obviously. That is the biggest prank of all. Bye. <laughs> Emily, Emily. That is. That